Hello, this is Priscilla Batzel. I'm in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressions Fluid Art Studio. This is my yesterday's leftover pan of Prism Pour Primary Elements Vivid Intense Colors. And I'm going to use a shovel and probably try and use some of those colors on a pre-primed 16 by 20 inch white canvas. Pre-primed with, I think, Artist Loft, and it might have had some house paint in it, whatever it had in it, no big deal. But my, my, the weird thing I want to do is I want to take a shovel full of paint. Huh. I've got a butter dish. I, can, I have something I can rest my shovel in. That'll work. I thought I might want to put some of this in there, and I can try that. And I've got a bunch of water lily, and the key phrase there is a bunch of, because I don't have enough of what I would usually put down as a base, which would normally be um, Chantilly lace or French silk, which reminds me, I might have some of that around here. Um, usually Chantilly lace, I love, is the best. I've got some abalone, but it's kind of off color. I've got some French silk. I can use that. Let's just do that. Now I don't want to use it to cover everything else up so much as just a base layer, a conveyance. This is really pretty. I wish you could see this closer. I don't think I can get it closer to you so you can see it. It's all marbled. But um, so my, my idea is <laughs> to take some paint and my shovel and then take some more paint and my shovel. I haven't really figured out how to do this yet, to tell you the truth. Bring my canvas over. I've got to figure out how to... No cat hairs, please. And whatever that is, needs to go away. I can see it, so it's got to go. Paint's been covered all night, so it really shouldn't have any paint chips in it. I'm going to use some Fandango. I'm just going to put colors right in my shovel is what I'm going to do. Some Cerulean Blue. And some Royal Sapphire, all of which are, are uh, prison pours. I also have some sea glass, and I think that's going to go in there, and that's a primary element. And being that this is my first time trying anything exactly like this, it should be interesting. I need to make sure nothing is in my way. I don't know why I'm turning it all the way around. Now I've got more of the same problem. I've got all this color that I that's kind of mucky. <laughs> and now I'm gonna just use some water lily. And a whole bunch of fandango. Because I can. I have no idea what I'm doing. None whatsoever. I wasn't even sure, and I'm still not sure that that's as usable as I was hoping it would be. I'm going to use a skewer. To pull some of that green up. And just keep using it. Um, I don't have a scrape dish, but I want to take the paint that I've got. And obviously I could paint over anything I want that I don't like the colors. And I'm just going to let this drip right off here. I might push it or pull it or meld it 
whatever you want to call it. I'm beginning to think that it would be a better idea to put the paint all in the container and put paint on top of it. And I could have tried to swipe it, but I don't know that that would have worked either. So I'm just going to find my Egyptian blue. I'm going to put the paint in there. I'm going to move this out of the way and try what I said. Put the paint right in there. Treat it like a base layer. Hope that it doesn't show. Because it oh, there's some beautiful stuff in there though. But I don't think it's pretty enough. It won't be pretty enough if I put it out on something to save. I could I should have just probably made a bunch of skins out of it. But I don't do jewelry, so there was no point in that really. And I guess we'll find out together if this is possible. That's going in the bucket. I'm not going to try and save anything else out of there. And so I'm back to the drawing board. I'm going to put my French silk. I'm feeling deep amethyst. Some more water lily. And I'm probably just going to fill my canvas up with marks. And it, they could be any kind of marks too before I'm done. That's the Fandango. I don't know why, but I've got shiny taffeta out. I might want a clean shovel. Oh, I got a double stream. Matter of fact, I do want a clean shovel. And I have one handy, so it's a little wet, but it's, it's going to work fine. Now I've been thinking about Sour Lemon with Orange Crush. I've got Jasmine Handy. I don't know what a painting would be like without Saffron. And I just have the Egyptian Blue so I'm going to use that and then I'm probably going to, oh, please open. Then I'm probably going to put some red violet in there. You're not opening because you're completely clogged. Generally, I can get one of those out of there in short order. I want a little bit more Royal Sapphire. I also want some of this Indian spice. And I might want something else, but I think I'm going to wait and just go for it. I had some black out, but I'm not sure that that's a good idea right now. I do have cerulean blue, and that's going in there. I will list the colors under the video if it works out. And I never did use the red violet, so that's going in there too. And I wish I kind of wish I had just wiped, not started. do the best we can with what we've got. Looks like it's still going to be mucky. I need some of those pretty colors out of there. Probably just going to cover everything. I'm 
unlike anything I've ever done before. I don't even know if this has got a chance. It can. I don't know if this will work. But we might as well try. I've got toothy tools, texture tools. I've got chain. And I've still got color art, beautiful colors, so I'm going to give it my best shot. Try not to waste too much. Could be completely different. Let's see if I can pull this toward me. I know it's going to be different. There's no doubt about that. Still shoveling up. Can't tell you which colors I'm grabbing because I really don't know. I'm lifting ever since so lately. Good thing I like these. I'm going to pop that bubble. I can't stand it anymore. Now I've got a smaller scoop and I suppose there's every chance. I'm going to let that muck drain over the edge. Potentially not onto my tweezers that I just put down there. I'm lifting up, just using the corner of this shovel. Something from nothing. It's already kind of interesting. I hope it stays that way. This butter dish was not my best idea. It's definitely more in the way than not. Now, I've got some pretty colors, but I also see there's some brown in there. I don't know what to do about that. have to not mind the gaps and just figure they're part of the whole process. But when you have shadows, you kind of need to put something over them. I could put a bunch of triangles in and then add stems after. That might be kind of an interesting idea I hadn't tried before that I kept thinking about recently quite a bit, actually. Wasn't sure I was going to get away with that. Got a bunch of paint in my shovel and I'm inclined to just use it. I'm also inclined to do some dots. That wasn't very graceful. Let the residuals drain out a little. Fix that with a, with a leaf shape. Hopefully. not horrible. It's not great. I don't know what it, what to think yet. It's not done. 
And often I can't make up my mind in advance anyway. Not sure what that was. Part of me goes like, at least I'm using my paint up, but I'm not sure it's the best of advantage. They're slightly fugly colors, that's for sure. Some of them anyway, because they had a chance to mix. I think dots might help. Having to put up with little dribbles here and there. I'm still not sure. I know my pan of colors isn't pretty anymore. It's not ugly either, it's just got some yuck in there. take some of it out so it isn't such a blooming mess. I'm not going to put a second one up there, am I? I don't mind putting some leaves on the stem. They might be the, the difference between it looking like something and looking like nothing. Well, I've got a minute. And I'm not sure whether this is going to... One way or the other, I might probably... There's a good chance I'll be back. <laughs> fairly well focused, so if I'm quiet, you'll have to forgive me. There, all I can think of is that I want to add dots. It has some rhythm to it, but it's not, uh, it's not anything I've done before. Maybe that's a good thing. We'll see. All right, I'll be back in a second. Wow, I can't believe I can't get that whole thing in the picture. All right, I'll see you in a sec. I'm back. I've decided this has some charm to it. It's worth continuing on working to. Working with, I've got uh, Princeton Art Tool Catalyst Spatula. I'm not too worried about trying to make my stems green. But I am going to link things up. And I'm going to use the remainder of the color that I found inside the last shovel that I used. And add some flourishes where I see something might need. I could also steal some paint, I'm noticing. And I don't... 
I haven't, and I should have, found a skewer to put dots down with. But I'm sure there's one handy somewhere here. And I've got one. And I'm thinking, what will it be? And I really think it would be the easiest thing possible to use some Decor and Americana 24 karat gold that's already mixed up. Well, that didn't come out, so I guess I'm not going to put that there. I always wanted an excuse to put some gold down right now. That wilted flower head needs to be attached to something. There we go. I think that's cool. Ha! <laughs> Elmer Fudd laugh. The more interesting shapes that distract the eye, the better off this is going to be, I'm pretty sure. Lead that up. Oh, still using my Princeton Art Tool Kettle spatula. Everything is blowing in the wind, I guess. But it looks better and better as I attach things to things. It's got uh, it's got a fair amount of fugly paint in it, though. So we'll go back and see what else I can dot with the gold. I might even have used more gold than I need. Don't mind that. This thing over here is kind of bugging me. I can fix that. <laughs> better and better. Not sure what to do with this up here. That's just weird. But um, I know I can distract the eye with a little bit of gold and right in there. Better. I'd like to do something with that. That's bugging me. I'm not sure. I can't make it into a flower. It's just something, a ribbon caught in the weeds. <laughs> it is what it is. Sorry about my head, just dotting away, not thinking about it. Well, one thing I know about the brownish stuff, it'll be shimmery. And we'll, I'll pretend it was <laughs> on purpose. It's bronze. There aren't too many places that I need to worry about. I kind of like it. Um, I don't hate it. I could put some, and I think I will put some, Bandango in there right after I wipe off one of my two Princeton Artful Callus spatulas. I have two, so it's good if I don't keep one in the bucket at all times. Now I've taken and enlarged the top of this, so I think that's going to help, something tells me. Now what I was thinking about doing with the 
whole spatula was just dragging it up into a point or whatever shape it wants to be, honestly. But I think the green is helping. I'm not sure what's going to happen where it's being interfered with by wet paint. I don't often do multi-layers like this. That, that was weird. That just had to go off. I'm liking this more and more. Oh my gosh, I did not expect to feel this way. Come on, stop. All right, that one's going to have its own. A little grassy leaf. I think they all should actually, including this one. So I'm just going to dip dip into the strand of paint and yes and pull it out once you've done it a couple times and you're comfortable it's not a big deal and it might dry with a little bit of bulk to it which I don't mind I mean it's not puff paint or anything but I'm <laughs> I'm pleased that this didn't go. I'm going to start where I want to stop. See if I can keep from leaning my bottle right into the painting. Yeah, I didn't do a good job of that. want more paint at the bottom there. That's what I'm feeling that there's altogether too much white. But I also think I could probably steal enough paint to fill in, which is what I'm doing because I'm not going to harm anything by running my spatula through. And it adds a new texture to the bottom I actually like. That was as close as I've ever come to a really bad <laughs> fail and uh, I'm still liking it. I'm wondering what else I should put in there if I should put some green in my little dish. Let's see what happens when I dip my spatula. bunch of different places. Because I can. The name of my first book on the Amazon link next to my second book called Unlimited Possibilities, which is evidently something I need to believe in to make small miracles happen. down there. Fill right in. The more the better. Yeah, I like that too. I'm just going to have to learn to accept brown for the charming color that it is. Oh wait, bronze. I meant bronze. I see another place I could put some gold if I've still got some. And I do.
So what should I tell you guys? I have 31 playlists with 100 videos you can watch now. And another one I'm working on. There's a members library of over 200 videos for members only. And uh, there will be members videos published previous to public air pretty regularly soon. That was, I'm not sure that that was a bubble. It looks more like a thing. I've got to not juggle my tweezers because I really don't want them to wind up in the painting. I really want to put something over that area that I'm not super fond of. And maybe I could do the same thing with a ribbon. Oh, I dribbled. It's okay, we can always make it into a leaf, I think. Cute little leaf, too. Oh, we got two of them now. So, do I have any more spots that I want to add? Gold too or green too. I want to put some more green down in this side. I really want to distract the eye from, from this weird shape. So we'll pretend there's a flower behind it. Or we'll just add gold all the way around. It's an alien plant. They often are in my paintings. Although I've seen some pretty alien plants on... Yeah, that's a big improvement actually. Cool. Good call. Now, I wonder if I can get some of this paint to not blow. It'll probably blossom right out. I'm going to go as small as I can. That again is the Decor Americana 24 karat gold. So, more green, and I'm going to call it good. And I'm going to put a little more green right in my dish because I think that's going to help. And I could just layer it. I could just stack the greens on top of each other. Whoops, that was really big. That's okay, we can have a leaf. Why not have a leaf? This is where I really wanted something. See, there's a couple bubbles in here. There. I think I like it. I know, I sound like I'm trying to convince myself, and I probably am, but especially when I don't like things initially, I seem to be able to be capable of spending enough time adding things to them to make them more acceptable. That was not one of them. That paint was too sticky. But I'm going to call it good so we don't have to waste any more time, and uh, I don't think I'm going to add anything else. 
It's just strange enough to be acceptable, I think. And I might find it really cool tomorrow. <laughs> so I'm going to shimmer this at you because it's still shimmery. I just turned my phone off. That was dumb. And that helps me see the places I might want to fix, too, like that little shadow color right there that doesn't belong. But I did use the majority of the paint, so I didn't really waste it. And uh, it might wind up on a t-shirt in spring or something. I'm going to take and fill in Leave a little texture down there. Kind of want to fill the whole thing in actually. I've got some leftover paint. Yep, just going to fill it in. So it doesn't draw the eye basically. Sorry you can't see all of that. I wish you could. All right, so I love you guys. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Um, I'm not going to count this as the ultimate success right now, but uh, I might fall more in love with it tomorrow, and it's kind of fun and funky, and it is what it is. It used up ex leftover paint, and uh, it's not horrible, and it's kind of cool. <laughs> and I'm still working on convincing myself. My Amazon link has my couple websites, and... Uh, Excuse me. My link tree has my Amazon link and a couple of websites. My Amazon link has a couple of my books. Volumes 1 and 2 are the uh, first and second books I wrote for paint pouring for YouTube videos. And uh, I'm completely discombobulated by this painting. My community board will show you tomorrow's video. Questions are welcome and encouraged. Thank you for the kind words in the comments and the donations through PayPal. And I know that took a long time. But it is what it is, and uh, whatever I'm forgetting, you'll see in another video. My paint pouring recipe is under show more. I told you about the playlists already. I do sell my artwork, and my email address is EASPB at the word, with the word gallery spelled out at gmail.com. EASPB gallery at gmail.com if you want to inquire about purchasing an artwork or look for the exhibition videos numbered 1 through 12. They were on sale until, my paintings were on sale until November 15th, 2023. I don't think this is going to be shown before then, but um, I also give lessons at the house in Spring Hill, Florida. On my link tree, you'll find Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links, and my Facebook group, as well as those couple of websites. And uh, I love you guys. You inspire me always. And I'm liking this more as I look at it, but I don't know what I'm going to do, how I'm going to feel about it tomorrow. It's different. Really, really different. There might be another couple of green stems going in, but I don't think so. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Bye for now. I love you guys. Come again. I post at 2.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time most days. Priscilla out. Whew. That was a little stressful.